Full Metal Alchemist colon Brotherhood episodes 21 and 22. I have to admit I'm still reeling off the high from episode 19. Let's watch. Roy is yelling at Risa for daring to lose the will to fight. Havoc's alive! <laughs> Meanwhile, Gluttony and Envy are like, Bradley, why didn't you kill Roy and everyone else? You just let them escape. Oh! Bradley called Hohenheim. The, f the dad. I don't know if it's just a different translator, if that means that Hohenheim is father, which I said. Cue the clip. I want to say that Ed's dad is father. I don't know. I'm going to say it now. Maybe I sound like an idiot, but you know, 10 episodes down the line, maybe I'll be a genius. They suspect that Roy will be able to open the portal. <laughs> so Al's worried that his body will be all rotten by the time they find it. Ed's like, don't worry about it because I'm pretty sure our souls are connected because of etc etc. Explain away that junk. Al's like, well yeah, I noticed that Ed sleeps a lot, so maybe he's sleeping for me too. That makes sense. So they're trying to figure out what was behind the big gate. They're having a little meeting with Roy and Havoc. They're like, it's really suspicious the way the Fuhrer like knows everything and killed Greed and but we all know he's evil but they don't. Oh no, Havoc's paralyzed. <laughs> Havoc's like, go on, fight on, but I can't come with you because I can't walk. Roy's talking with one of his old war buddies, but I don't think they were actually buddies. So his nervous system is shot. And it seems like Roy is trying to do research on how he can fix it. So they got information from Ed about Dr. Marco who had that Philosopher's Stone in that village. So maybe they'll fix his legs. Al and Ed are chatting about what the homunculus said about needing a sacrifice and how Ed was a potential sacrifice. Okay, so Scar's reappeared and he's already killed three alchemists. So Ed thinks that if he's attacked by Scar, then the homunculus will kill will appear because they don't want Ed to die. But Al's like, what if they don't appear and we end up being killed? And then what if a homunculus does appear? We'll end up being attacked somehow. Ling and one of his ninjas appears. And he's like, did you say something about a homunculus being immortal? So Ling is gonna go along and help. So Ed's like, so why don't you stay a little longer in Central Windry because I'm worried that my arm will break again? Because he's expecting another fight with Scar. And she's like, can you just not do dangerous stuff? So one of the soldiers goes to find the doctor. He is not there. Roy's like, damn it. So Havoc's already decided that he's going to retire. It's just the way it is. So sad. And Havoc's just like, go, get out of here. You have to avenge Hughes. You can't help me. This is like the saddest thing ever. And Roy's like, as soon as your legs are healed, I will rehire you right on the spot. He's like, I'm gonna be at the top someday and you're gonna be able to walk and then you're going to work with me. And Roy's like, get my uniform. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ed's in the middle of town trying to use the most flashy alchemy he can do. He's obviously trying to get the attention of Scar. Roy shows up in a little car and he's like, hey, what are you doing? And Ed's like, oh, did you check out Dr. Marco? And Roy's like, mm, he's missing. So Roy's like, what are you doing trying to get Scar's attention? Oh, and Scar appears. So Al explains to Roy and Risa that Ed was trying to draw out Scar so the homunculus would come out. So Roy's like, okay, that makes sense. Have fun. <laughs> Roy and Risa are out. So Roy and Risa are sending out false information about Scar's location so that the military will go to the wrong place so that Ed now can continue to fight Scar to drop the homunculus. So sure enough, Gluttony is running around on the roofs. Ling and the lady ninja, whose name is Lan Fan, confront him. But Bradley's there too! Oh! <laughs> so Bradley attacks Lan Fan and then the episode ends. Now let's watch episode 22. Oh, so luckily she deflected the slash, so she's not dead, but she is injured. Gluttony goes to eat her, but Ling comes out of nowhere with, like, serious face and, like, cuts his head off. Bradley and Ling start fighting, but, of course, Gluttony comes in and cheats and hits him. And he's also carrying, uh, Ron Fawn or Lan Fawn or whatever her name is. So Ling has totally figured out that King Bradley is evil. Ron Fawn throws out a flare, and Ling goes to run away, but... Bradley still has his other eye. Winry has a flashback of the day mom and dad left. She's going with Hughes' family to go visit Hughes' grave. Hughes flashbacks? 
Winry's walking through town and she hears rumors about the Elric brothers fighting. And I think she's gonna decide to go into the fray, which is just a bad choice. Oh, but Scar was treated by her mother and father, so she's gonna walk into the fray and Scar is gonna totally recognize her, and then he's gonna be like, no! Ah. I'm missing so much right now. So they're waiting for a signal from Ling, but obviously he's not gonna give them a signal because he had to escape. Scar's like, if it wasn't for alchemy, then there wouldn't be horrible chimeras like Nina. Scar's like, I totally mercy killed her. And now they're like, huh, well, yeah, okay. So Ed's like, do you remember the rock bells? Do you remember you killed them? And of course, just then Winry walked up and Ed's like, whoops. And she's like, you killed my family? Why? And Scar's like, um, he's just standing there staring at her. Her hand reaches for a gun and Scar has a flashback. Brother, brother, we have to run away. Brother's got the big tattoo that um, Scar has now. Right arm is for decomposing, and left arm is for reconstruction. And Scar's like, no one cares, we have to run away! And the battle begins, kaboom, kaboom. It wasn't really a war, it was a massacre. Yikes. And Scar is fighting! He takes out like 10 guys who have guns. And he kind of sees it as like, well, alchemy is destroying my country. He's not seeing it as people who use alchemy are destroying my country. Probably why he hates alchemy so much. Mom, dad, and brother escape. Brother gives Scar his research and he's like, run away. Who's this person? He's got some symbols on his hands. Brother runs out to protect him as the, the sky like blows up the ground. Aw, oh, Scar's lost an arm. Basically everyone's dead except for older brother and Scar. And older brother uses alchemy. So Scar wakes up a little while later in like a hospital and the rock bells are helping him. And he sees he has his brother's arm now. And so he flips out knowing that means his brother's dead. And he gets up and he's like, it's your fault. And he attacks the rock bells and kills them. I was hoping it would be a misunderstanding. Scar stumbles out and he sees all the damage that's done to his country and he knows there's not many people left alive. Back into the present, Scar is like, shoot me, just, just do it. But just be warned, as soon as you shoot me, then you're my enemy. Al dives in front of Winry, and Scar actually stops his attack. Because he's reminded of the time when his older brother dove in front of him to protect him. Al attacks, and Scar escapes. And slowly pries the gun out of Winry's hand. He's like, your hands were meant to help people live, not to end people's lives. Ed's like, <sighs> So after a really long time of not seeing much from Scar, all of a sudden he's back in the story again with all kinds of terrifying flashbacks. My camera is like literally running out of batteries right now. So let's end it. See you next time for the next episode. Bye bye.